the day kindergarten it's time for language acts i hope you're feeling really really good today is friday the 12th of march 2021 we've come to the end of another work week this week you did an excellent job of paying attention now as we review in this lesson Pay attention some more so that you'll remember everything that we learned this week. And there may be something new for you to learn today. As usual, we have to get warmed up. Let's see. Do you know the days of the week? Let's sing the days of the week song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Here's another one. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days a week. How about the months of the year? Do you know the months of the year? Let's sing a song to remember the months of the year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. One more time. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And we are in the month of January has gone. February has gone. So now we are in the month of March. Boys and girls, here is what we will do today. Today we will define the term noun. Do you remember what a noun is? We looked at it this week. I hope you remember. You will state nouns used to name people. You will tell me nouns that are used to name people. You will identify nouns used to name animals today. And then you will sort nouns into groups based on whether they are used to name people or animals. Get ready! I've got a question for you. Let's see who remembers what is a noun? What is a noun? Hmm. A noun is a word used to name a person, animal, place, or thing. Can you think of the name of a person? Hmm. Can you think of the name of an animal? How about a place that you like to go to? And can you think of the name of something that you use? A noun is a naming word. A noun is a naming word. A noun is a naming word. Boys and girls, now that you remember that a noun gives a name person, animal, place, or thing, do you remember that yesterday we looked at nouns used to name people? Let's look at the names of some people you may know. What name can we give to this person? Did you say boy? Then you're correct. Boy is a noun. How about this one? This person is a doctor. 
author is a noun because it names a person. Can you guess this one? This lady is a teacher. The word teacher is a noun because it's the name of a person. Good job, kindergarten. Boys and girls, I have a surprise for you. Today, we are going to the zoo. Are you ready to go to the zoo with Miss Jaliso? Teacher's taking us to the zoo today. The zoo today. The zoo today. Teacher's taking us to the zoo today so we can play all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Boys and girls, I want you to grab your binoculars. Today, we're going to the zoo and we're going to name these animals. Are you ready? Let's look carefully. Do you know the name of this big animal? That's correct. This is an elephant. The word elephant is a noun because it's the name of an animal. Good job. Let's see. Hmm. I think I know the name of this animal. Can you help me? Yes, this animal is a tiger. Let's look again through our binoculars to see another animal. Hmm. That's a really tall giraffe. Did you guess all the names of these animals correctly? Elephant, tiger, giraffe? Those words are all nouns. Good job, kindergarten. You have earned yourself a sticker. Our adventure at the zoo is not over yet. Keep your binoculars close to your eyes. We're going to name these animals now. Hmm, black and white. I think that's a zebra. How about this one? That's a rhinoceros. Oh, we can say rhino for short. And do you know this one? So beautiful. This animal is a parrot. The words zebra, rhinoceros, and parrot are all nouns because they are names for animals. Good job, boys and girls. You have earned yourself another sticker. Wow, you are so good at this. Okay, we're wrapping up our trip to the zoo today. We have a few more animals. Let's name these animals. Do you know this one? That's a kangaroo. How about this one? Ooh, this is a lion. And the last one, it's really huge. Yes, that animal is a whale. Kangaroo, lion, whale. Those words are all nouns because they are names of animals. Good job, boys and girls. I had so much fun with you, but we're not done yet. Boys and girls, it's time for our final activity for today. Here we have some words and they're all nouns. We have the word man, touch the word man, good. And below it we have cat, 
Then we have dog and then girl. On the next side, we have the word owl. Then we have nurse, king, and the last word, pig. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to sort these nouns. Remember, a noun can be a name for a person, animal, place, or thing. And while all of these words are nouns, Ms. so wants you to put the names used for people on one side, the yellow side, and the names used for animals on the blue side. Are you ready? Let's go. The first word is man. Is that a noun that is used to name a person? or an animal. What do you think? Man is the name of a person. Correct. The next word is cat. Is cat a person or an animal? Easy peasy. Cat is an animal. How about the word dog? Mm -hmm. I'm sure many of you have a dog. And we know that a dog is an animal, correct. What about the word girl? Is that word a noun used for a person or an animal? Hmm. Girl is a person. Now we have the word owl. Owl, a type of bird. That is an animal. Good job. How about the word nurse? Who is a nurse? Is that a person or an animal? Do you remember? Right. A nurse is a person who helps to take care of us when we are sick. How about the word king? Uh -huh. The king who is in charge and married to the queen. Is the king an animal or a person? The king is a person. Good job. And the last word, pig. Pig. A pig is an animal. So there we have it. Our nouns. Did you get all correct? You deserve a sticker. Good job, kindergarten. Kindergarten, I had such a great time with you today talking about nouns. Remember, nouns are important. We need to know the names of people, animals, places, and things. Remember, boys and girls, to stay safe. Wash your hands. Sneeze and cough in your elbow. And remember, the teachers love you so much. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye.